This video is sponsored by Kiwi Design. Use the code KiwiQuest3S for 5% off on all orders for a limited time. Thanks! What the f- Hello all, it's me Sprite VR. Today, Meta Horizon just released a Hyperscape, which is the most photorealistic um, VR game ever made, I think. At least that's how they advertised it. They advertised it to be the most photorealistic uh, game. It, it, it's not really game, but the most photorealistic um, experience. I mean, look at that. You can walk around that. So we're going to go ahead and hop in and see what it's all about. Um, they just announced this because of um, MetaConnect. Um, what the? Experiences may seem realistic. Don't sit or lean on virtual objects in this experience. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Okay. So this is my actual room. Get the... Okay. So this is my actual room. Ignore the mess. I know it's messy, but shut the fuck. All right. Uh... Let's start. Let's go to California. Let's go to Aquarium. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. Okay. This was Mark Zuckerberg's office for many years. Okay. Whoa. Um. I can move around it? Yo. Okay. Yo! Dude, wait. That's sick. I need close to read that? Nope, I can't. Can we... Points of interest? Whiteboard to inspire brainstorming. Equipped with reels that can be rolled around the room. That's what a whiteboard's there for. Here's outside, and it's beautiful Gaussian splatting, uh, beauty. But the actual office, like the actual inside, looks really cool. I'm not sure if recording will be able to, like, um, fully capture how well this is, but this looks so cool. The view from this room looks outside of the room terrace. Check out the outdoor lunch table basks in sunlight. Where? <laughs> oh, out there. Oh, I see it. It's out there. Looking out to the central courtyard that forms the town square of the workplace, complete with restaurants, amenities, and redwood trees. That seems like a cool place. I don't know what this is, but I can see the reflection of it. Dude, there's like even reflection on like the TV screen. I haven't seen Gaussian splatting like this good before. Like I've seen Gaussian splatting, I've seen photo scanning, I've used LiDAR, and I've used nerfs before. But I've never seen it be used this good in a VR space before. Except for that. They forgot to scan this part. Wow. Light switch. Yeah, no shit. Okay. Um, let's change scenes. Whoa. Okay. That's really cool. We'll give that a four. Rebecca Fox's studio in San Francisco, California. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. That actually looks so good. There's so much, like, stuff here. That's like a uh, really complicated, like really complicated designs. So the fact that that stuff scanned properly is so crazy. Like even stuff back there scanned with like depth. Like I feel like I can go back there. This is so cool. I may be glazing right now, but this is pretty cool. Wow. Like. Dude, it was actually able to capture this stuff, which is really cool. Like, even that text right there, it says masking paper. Like, I can read the text on that stuff. Rebecca Fox metal sculpture. Like, rags, clear... Like, I can read this stuff. Like, I can see that photo. Like, yeah, it's blurry, but I can, you know, kind of see it. Look at all this stuff. Like, it, it looks good. Like, obviously, the textures are pretty smooth. You know, they could be better. But the fact that it was even able to capture, like, complicated stuff like this is really cool. Ooh, let's, what's back here? Yo. Like, even complicated stuff like this, like... That's so cool. And even scanned all the way back there? Damn, did they scan all the way back here, too? Oh my god. Damn, they really scanned, like, everything. Can I look under? Let's go back here. So I guess this is her little... Little area. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. 
I like this. I like this a lot. I'm going to go ahead and give that a four. Robert D Denovan Studio in San Francisco, California. Okay. This part looks really good. This looks... Hey, I recognize that. I, I use that paint all the time. Is this a bowl of ramen? <laughs> of course I would know that. I eat ramen like every day. You can even hear like sounds of like workshop stuff too. Dude, like looking up like that looks so good. Except except for that, I don't know what's going on there, man. <laughs> Evidence of a late night studio poker game. Dude, this is cool. The fact that this is all in like a standalone headset too is absolutely wild to me. Oh, I own that drill. I own this drill. Dude, that's actually so cool. This looks so good. This part right here just looks so good. I really don't think the camera, like the Quest camera, will really truly capture how cool this is. But like, like this is so cool. I can just go whoop, and I'm back, and then whoop, and I'm and I'm in. Like that's, like I can just instantly transport somewhere else. Whoop, whoop. Like it's so cool. I know, like it's not even a game. But, like, having it be this realistic is awesome. I'm going to give that a five. Gil Bruvel Studio in Wimberley, Texas. Whoa. Whoa. This looks really good. Are those the Amazon boxes? We've got Amazon boxes. Realistic Amazon box. Whoa. Whoa. Yankee with no brim. Yo, wait. That's sick. It's all 3D too. Look at all the stuff here. All these tools look just caked in like dust, doc. Whoa, look at this one. Yo. It's back here. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> This part wasn't scanned too well. Oh, hey, Amazon. But back here, this looks really good. Like, this looks real. Just about. Like, if you were to stand right here, squint your eyes, this looks so real. Like, if I were to squint my eyes, I feel like I'm in a space right now. Which is crazy. I thought that said urine. Okay, so we're going to give that a three. I think that was all right. Daniel Arsham Studio. <gasps> Do we get to see some cars? Bridgehampton, New York. <gasps> Dude. Dude. I know a friend who would love this. Aw. This. Only functional gasoline car in my son's drive? <laughs> what? I can kind of see inside the car, too. Dude. These are sick. Like, this looks real. If I were to squint my eyes, man, I mean, this is almost indistinguishable from real life if I squint my eyes. Like, I feel like I'm actually here. Like, this one looks so real. This one looks so real. This is probably the most realistic one so far, I'd say. This looks amazing. I mean, this is probably truly, like, the first, like, thing that Meta's released where I truly felt like this is the future. Like, this is absolutely wild. Porsche jacket. Oh my god, I kind of want to shoot some hoops. Just one hit up. <laughs> Can we go up? Oh, we can't go up? Man. F but this one looks so good. Ooh, wait. Wait, there's a... I want to see this one. Dude, but... No shit! That's so cool that I could, like, actually see and, like, be able to understand this stuff like understand these photos and stuff Lorac wait Pikachu yo is that the the, the, the fucking the uh the, the dog from Mickey Mouse I forgot his name this is actually so that's Squirtle nope 
That's Charmander, that's Squirtle. I'm stupid. <laughs> Wait, no, not Squirtle. Oh, my- My brain hurts. I forgot my Pokemon. What well, the glasses actually see through? Type shit. This one's really cool. I'm gonna give that a five. Diane Hoffman Studio. Whoa. This is a lot of complicated geometry. Whoa. Whoa! I could like fully like see that photo and like all the detail. Whoa! Even here, I could look and see the detail on this stuff. Whoa! What the fuck was that sound? Don't play with my heart like that. That was scary. Dude, like, look at all this complicated geometry, man. And it, like, scanned it and shit, too. Craftsman? Like, you can even see, like, the... Like, look at all this complicated, like, stuff, dude. And, like, scanned it. That's creepy, though. I don't like that thing. You got some creepy stuff here, Diane Hoffman. I'm not even gonna lie. This is so cool. Oh, E6000. Dude, I can even see, like, here, too. They really scanned everything, man. Dude, I really hope more, like, this kind of stuff gets implemented in the future, man. Because this is so cool. Like, if more stuff uses, like, Gaussian splatting and, like, nerfs, dude, things would look so cool, man. We need more photo scan stuff, for sure. Photo scanning is definitely the future, in my opinion. But I think that's all the time we have left. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.